suspect uh, walked out of a nearby hotel and began firing rounds at the hotel um, and, and firing randomly. The um, male attempted to ignite a Molotov cocktail by throwing it against a business, um, and that fortunately did not light. Um, a vehicle pulled into the parking lot of a local business, and the man began firing at it, resulting in the deaths of two of its occupants, an adult male and an adult female. As our officers arrived on scene re responding to that initial call, they were immediately met with a barrage of gunfire. Uh, an exchange of gunfire occurred, resulting in the injury of two of our officers. Uh, both were transported to local hospitals. Uh, one remains hospitalized, the other has since been released, and they are both expected to survive their injuries. As a result of this, three of our community members also sustained injuries. All three have been treated and also have been released from the hospital. The suspect in this case was wearing uh, tactical-like equipment to include some sort of vest and, some, uh, and, and a Kevlar helmet. Now, please understand this information is preliminary and it's subject to change, and we're still very early on in our investigation. Do we know how the other three community members were injured? Uh, varying injuries from shrapnel, injuries, things like that. Was that from the gunfire between officers and um, the suspect, or was that from the suspect when he was randomly fired? So again, very early on in our investigation, we still, we have a large scene, we have a lot of people to talk to. We believe that occurred prior to the police arrival. Uh, we also heard information about the Waffle House being involved. Um, was anyone in the Waffle House injured or involved in this situation? So offhand, I'm not sure where those community members were when they got injured, but the Waffle House was in the vicinity of our scene. Any type of a motive yet? Any idea why he would do this? No. And at this point, this adult male suspect um, remains uh, unidentified. And to be clear, this was uh, classified as an active shooter situation. Well, the, the man was firing. Um, he was located deceased. We're still working to figure out exactly what, uh, what caused the death. Do you know if the vest at all uh, offered any ballistic protection? Uh, that we don't know because they're still investigating and looking, but it is at least at a minimum a carrier type uh, vest. At last night's press conference, Chief Williams couldn't tell us if the suspect was killed by officers or if he took his own life, do we know that yet or is it still too early to tell? So ultimately the cause of manner of death will be determined by the Office of the Medical Examiner and at this point they're still investigating that. Was he staying at the day? Okay, we're continuing to listen to the press conference that police are holding out here in Deer Valley near the I-17. This officer involved shooting three people dead, including the suspect. We're gonna learn much more on this incident right, in coming up in the next several hours. We'll be right back.